Hello everyone, Coin Collector here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a Victorian silver mustard spoon. So, as I'm sure many of you are aware, one of my other hobbies is that I collect, buy and sell uh, antique silver. And today we're going to be taking a look at a nice item. This, so, as I said, this is Victorian, and it's a silver mustard spoon. So traditionally, in a you know full table set, as it were, of cutlery, this would have been used solely for mustard. Uh, nowadays, obviously, we don't really use spoons like this, and therefore the shape of it is quite interesting. So I believe it's got a standard sort of... It's known as a fiddle thread pattern, uh, so plain edge, and then these little bits that point out here. This one's actually been engraved, as you can see. So it's got the letters J, M, J on it, presumably the initials of the original owner of this. As you can see, the spoon's in good condition. It's about 10 centimeters long, for those of you who would like to know that. Uh, about one and a half centimeters wide at this end, and then the bowl is about three centimeters across. So, obviously, when you're looking at a piece of antique silver, the important part is the hallmarks. And as you can clearly see on the back of this one, there we go, you can see the maker's mark, CB. Then if I turn it the other way around, you should be able to see the leopard head for London, hopefully that focuses. There we go. And then along there, you've got the sterling mark, the lion, the date letter, which is an L in this case, and then the duty mark, which is Victoria. And obviously back then there was a tax levied on luxury silver items because they were considered a luxury. And to show that the tax had been paid, all of them had to have the duty mark stamped on them to show you know, they were legitimate. The spoon weighs about 11 and a half grams, so you're probably talking about 0.38 tri ounces, for those of you who are interested in that, and of course it's sterling silver. So let's take a closer look at the hallmarks which I've drawn up. So CB stands for Charles Boyton. And this particular hallmark of his was used between 1862 to 1900. He does have an earlier design and a slightly later one. Um, he specialised in all kinds of cutlery and was quite prolific throughout uh, the time he was working, specialised in London. As you can see, we've then got a leopard's head for London. Fairly standard sort of design. This particular one with the shape of the outside um, was used between 1838 and 1895. Then we've got the classic... Sterling silver lion, there we go. Once again, this particular design was used between 1822 and 1895, but if you see any sort of lion shape on there, it is going to be sterling silver. We then got the date letter, which is obviously specific to date and location at this time. So this was London 1866, which is the exact year this was main, uh, made. So, you know, roughly halfway through, um, just before halfway through Queen Victoria's reign. That's how old it is, so it's a couple of hundred years old, this. And obviously this is the duty mark, which isn't drawn very well, I must admit. Um, but that's roughly what it will look like. There you go. So, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out some of my other videos on coins or antique silver, and leave any comments you have down below.